Hey everyone, happy Friday. Thanks for tuning in and supporting the channel. Your shares, likes and the love you have been showing to the donation wallet in the description help us keep covering what's happening across the internet computer. Today, we are looking at three major stories. Maestro bringing Bitcoin native indexing to ICP, the first desktop test build of Infinity OS, and how tools like Uplink 2000 and DCAT are shaping a fresh wave of caffeine AI powered development. Let's get in. Maestro has secured a grant from the Divinity Foundation to bring its Bitcoin native indexer to the Internet Computer Protocol. The goal to make ordinals and runes data accessible to apps across the ICP ecosystem in real time. Since the launch of ICP's Bitcoin subnet in 2023, the platform has processed over $1.1 billion in volume and more than 2.7 million Bitcoin transactions. This integration is a step toward making Bitcoin DeFi on ICP faster, more reliable and free from middle layer custody or wrapped token dependencies. Maestro's infrastructure enables direct interaction with native Bitcoin data. It supports mempool awareness, block reorganization handling, meta protocol tracking, and full on-chain state sync. This kind of access opens up a new layer of design possibilities for developers. One early use case is Liquidium. It's a lending platform that allows users to lock up BTC on Bitcoin and borrow USDT on Ethereum without rooting through bridges. Maestro's indexer plays a key role here by ensuring real-time data access that is essential for anything from instant loans to cross-chain swaps. The grant will also help open source the indexing engine, making it available to other developers building on ICP. That could be a major unlock for DeFi, gaming, and anything else that benefits from trusted Bitcoin data. Marvin Burton, who is the CEO of Maestro, said the partnership aims to strengthen the Bitcoin subnet's role in secure and direct financial tooling. Diffinity's Lomish Datta echoed that, saying the indexer gives devs trustless access to data that hasn't always been easy to work with. Maestro's stack is already used by over 1,000 developers across 200 plus applications. With ICP now part of that list, the hope is that more teams will start building Bitcoin native apps without relying on wrapped tokens or bridging solutions. Liquidium has handled over $500 million in long volume so far. With Maestro's indexing, those numbers could grow if builders take advantage of real-time data tied directly to the Bitcoin UTXO model. As ICP continues pushing for on-chain performance and developer access, tools like Maestro's indexer are a good sign of where the ecosystem might be heading that is fast, open, and focused on practical integrations. The first desktop version of Infinity OS has dropped. It's an early build version 0.9 created by developer Dexter and powered by Caffeine AI. Infinity OS is being designed as an app hub for creators and users within the decentralized ecosystem. Think of it like a browser-based desktop where you can build, run, and explore the apps through a clean, unified interface. What sets it apart is that everything runs within one downloadable environment, removing the clutter of open tabs and multiple logins. Developers can build directly inside the OS, while users can discover apps by others without needing separate installations. This is built using Caffeine AI. The focus here is on speed and simplicity. Caffeine is already known for lightweight builds and real-time rendering, so the interface feels responsive and familiar. Apps developed in this environment are part of a larger utility package and builders can apply to have their creations included. Right now, the release is in testing mode. Some features are still being refined and others are awaiting feedback, but the core concept is already taking shape. It's an operating system for the decentralized app world that's flexible enough for builders and friendly enough for everyday use. What's most compelling is the direction. Infinity OS could become the default workspace for people working across the IC and Caffeine ecosystems. If the project continues to evolve, it might solve the fragmentation problem we often see in Web3 tooling. Another Caffeine AI project catching attention this week is Uplink 2000. It's a lightweight upload and share tool that lets users drag and drop images 
videos or PDFs up to 10 MB in size. The app generates a link, making those files instantly usable in other projects, especially ones built within Kefi. The UI is minimal but functional. There is no login friction or account creation. You upload, get your link and use it. A tipping address is included for anyone who wants to support the project with ICP. The design leans into bold color choices and a retro style, but the backend is modern and well-optimized. It's a small tool, but that's the point. Many developers working in Caffeine are moving towards single-purpose apps that plug into bigger workflows. We are seeing that modular approach in other projects too. Westcliff Technologies is building DCAD. It's an open-sourced AutoCAD alternative entirely in browser. It offers design, render, and export tools without the licensing and install headaches of traditional CAD platforms. The $12 billion CAD market has long been dominated by expensive software. DCAD aims to lower the barrier to entry with something that works instantly in your browser. Rhiannon Thomas is working on a business collaboration suit inside Caffeine. Early versions already include task management, file sharing, and HR features. Others are still being refined. The point is to offer a practical, modular alternative to bulky enterprise tools without giving up browser-native speed and flexibility. And then there is a CAF Brew. It's a tool to upgrade your caffeine.xyz subdomain to a custom.com. It's about giving your app a more polished presence without switching platforms. All these tools, Uplink, DCAD, the Collab Suite, and CAF Brew show how developers are building with focus. Caffeine AI gives them the base and they build purpose-driven tools that do one thing well. That's it for today. If you would like to support Ledger Live, the donation wallet is in the description. You will also find links to the projects we covered and if you haven't already, grab our newsletter. It's out now and covers all the stories we couldn't fit here. Thanks for watching.